So looking at Jacob's Instagram and if you don't know who he is, he's one of the main creators at Beautiful Destinations. And looking at his pictures, a lot of sunsets, very vibrant, very sharp, really dynamic sunsets. You're probably going to be wanting to use Photoshop for this, but we're going to see what we can do in Lightroom. And he's always, always using reflections and really trying to get sunsets and really enhancing the clouds. So let's jump into Lightroom and see what we can do. Right guys, so in Lightroom and we're working with this image. So just worry about the top half of it and we're gonna really try to get those colors and the texture of the clouds and all that the same as this one. So first thing I'm gonna do is really bring up the warmth. <coughs> really bring up the warmth. And then bring up purples. Uh, bring up exposure a tad Quite a bit and then I'm going to come down to clarity and bring clarity to a hundred Vibrance I almost always bring up I'm gonna skip the tone curves and come down to HSL so Here we want a good balance of all the colors so he tries to get the blues, the purples, the oranges, and the yellows. So you're trying to get all four of those colors in one sky. He does a really good job of it. So let's give it a go. Bring up the magenta. and come down to split toning going to put quite a bit of blue into the highlights leave the shadows take sharpening down Then come all the way, and I'm just going to put a little dehaze in. And now I've got the colors semi right, and now we need to come in with a lot of gray, gradual filters. Come in with a big one. And if you hold Alt, reset, it will reset the filter for you. I'm going to bring clarity all the way up. And just a tad of dehaze, maybe. Yep. And going to do that. And then I'm going to do another one. I really want to get those blues. It's the, probably the only color we're really lacking. So Alt, Reset, and I'm just going to cool that off. And as you can see, that's put a lot of blues back in the sky, like this one. And then, what else do I want to do? I'm going to just bring up the exposure a little. Makes it look nice and soft. And then... I'm gonna, there's a bit more contrast down the lower part of the sky. So I'm just gonna add another one. And I'm going to put a bit of dehaze in. Take down saturation just a little. I'm going to add quite a bit of sharpness into there. And yeah. So this little dark spot up here is really annoying me. I'm 
I'm just going to get rid of it by putting up the exposure. And just going to do a slightly better job. And then just to make it a little better, I'm just going to brighten up this bottom part just to help us see the similarity. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave those shadows I'm going to bring up, bring up the whites. And yeah, done. So before, after, might just take out a bit of purple. Before, after, as you can see, we're getting the almost reds down the bottom and then it's going into an orange and then it's going into a yellow. There's a little bit of purple floating around and then you got the uh, blues up top, so you're getting all the colors in one sky. And that's what he tries to do in most of his images and what makes the best looking sky. Right, so we're gonna move on to our next image. And in this image, we've got some mad purples and we're gonna start by increasing the warmth. And a deep purple is quite a hard color to get. And I'm going to bring up the exposure quite a bit. Contrast tab. Shadows can come up. Blacks right down. Up a tad. Bring them up a tad. Clarity down. And saturation down a tad. Then we're going to come down to HSL. Drop those reds a bit. Oranges to about there and then yellows away from orange and then what that does it creates contrast in the sky so you're separating your yellows and you're separating your oranges and then come down to saturation take down some reds bring up the oranges bring up the yellows and bring up the magenta And then coming down to split toning. So we want to put a lot of blue in the shadows. And that's what helps you get the deep purple look. And now when we add a filter and we just do the same things. It's going to help you get those darker purples bring back a few of these things and keep it there and then I'm going to do another one just for the sky and I am going to saturate it a bit haze a tad and bring down the highlights I'm gonna bring up the whites a bit get a really punchy sky and now 
our last filter along the bottom here. So he always, always really brings out the reflections of his shots. So that's what we're going to do. And then you can just bring it out by using clarity, drop it back a bit, and we want to light up our foreground. So drag it down a bit and pop those whites, pop those highlights. And then I'm just going to give it a little extra vibrance and a bit of contrast. And I'm going to leave it as that. So before, after. Now I could stare at this for ages and tweak a few things, but I think that looks really good. We've got a good amount of yellows and moving into oranges, then purples and blues. So I think that looks really, really good. Right, so onto our next image. And as you can see, we have no colors in our sky. So if we came down here, we can't do anything to the colors and the sky. So making a cool sunset is pretty much out of the question, but you can get something like this. So I'll show you. And I'm gonna start by warming it up again. Really bringing up purples. Contrast down a little. Them right down, shadows down, whites right down, and blacks down a little. I bring the clarity up, vibrance down, saturation up a tab. Skipping over the tone curve. HSL won't help us and now split toning so we're going to put the colors into the sky and now we want a lot of blues in the shadows We're looking a bit too blue, but I'll fix that later. And I'm going to up the sharpening and come down to dehaze. And you want a lot of dehaze. Now, you want to come up here and grab your brush and start brushing in the sky. Make your brush a bit bigger click this down here so you can see where you're brushing and you don't have to be perfect because there's quite often casts on buildings And now we're going to add a bit of warmth, a lot of purple, click this off now so we can see what we're doing. Take down exposure, take down shadows. bring up clarity a bit and now our buildings are really purple <clears throat> so what we're going to do is create a new brush and paint over the building check this box so we can see we were painting bracket key to make your brush bigger and just feather it out a little 
paint over the building. Now the opposite color to purple is green. So add some greens. And add a lot of warmth. And I'm also going to up the clarity. A bit of dehaze and then I'm going to come back up and add in some exposure and then what I'm going to do is just darken up the top duplicate it And then just to make a few changes, click on your section of the cloud, tick that so we can see what we're doing. And I'm thinking a bit more warmth. And maybe take the highlights down. Maybe whites up. Maybe just a little bit of saturation. And I'm gonna leave it as that. And yeah, that's that image. I could tweak it a lot more, but I'm just gonna leave it as that. I think you guys get the point. All right, so I'm gonna leave this video here and I really want you guys to comment down below. Let me know what you guys like about this video, what other videos I can make. And yeah, just let me know if you like it and I'll see you in the next one.